Hi, good morning everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to present to you the elements of visual arts. So from the previous discussion that we have uh, discussed or explained, we have learned the different uh, movement of art productions and presentations. And we able to know uh, the realism, the movism, the expressionism, and etc. So from there also, uh, we are enlightened to the different artists and their different paintings which has also unique meaning and uh, na napahanga tayo dahil sa kanilang kagali galings kung paano nila in-present in and kung paano ba talaga nag uh, kung ano yung origin or pinagmulan ng mga uh, movement of art uh, in lit in their literature kung paano sila nagmula and paano sila na or, or na develop so ngayon naman I will be talking about the elements of uh, visual arts so ano naman kaya yung kinalaman or what is the connection of these uh, elements of visual arts from the paintings or from the uh, artworks of the different artists in the movement of movement of art and presentation so um from there or from the mediums or the materials that they are using so kino consider na natin kung an or kino consider na nila yung mga elements na ginagamit nila when they are creating their artworks or their paintings or drawings or even the sculpture or the architecture that they are that they made so those are the things that they are consider so the elements of the elements of the arts so from now we will now going to um, have the elements of visual arts. So from the elements of visual arts class, uh, from their paintings also, nakikita natin doon, or mostly na nakikita natin, or obviously, are the color, right? So not just the color, but also the different uh, elements of visual arts are also there. So, ayun. Uh, let's proceed now to the elements of visual arts. So from... But before that, uh, let's first uh, define what is element. So, uh, element is a particular part of something that is according to Merriam-Webster dictionary or particular part of something. When you see as when you see a painting, makikita mo doon yung isang uh, element or yung makikita mo doon yung isang um, tawag nito kung ano yung mas nagpakita or mas uh, uh, nangibabaw ba or yung parang uh, na entertain ka ba nating nasa because of the uh, because of that uh, characteristics of the certain artwork or the certain uh, painting a part or aspect of something abstract especially one that is essential or characteristic so ayun nga yung characteristics na itong characteristic pa ng painting na to is uh, dark or there is something na related doon sa meaning niya or related doon sa uh, a feeling na makukuha natin or ma-absorb natin if we are the audience, di ba? So, what happens to the medium after the techniques are applied? So, anong mangyayari doon sa uh, gina or anong mangyayari doon sa materials or doon sa kapag in-apply mo na yung technique, ano yung magiging result uh, ng isang, ano magiging result ng painting na yun or yung artwork mo na yun kung natapos mo na. So, that is the element. So, the elements of visual arts are line, color, texture, perspective, space, form, and volume. So, let's have first the line. Line is an important element of the disposal of every artist. Lines always have direction. So, we all know class that lines have the di different uh, directions. So, sometimes... Uh, diagonal line siya, horizontal line siya, and vertical line. Um, line suggests also class that man usually lines lies prone when asleep or when at rest and stands erect when in action. Sinasabi dito, man has learned that certain emotional states find expression in definite positions. So, nisa, so nis, ang sinasabi dito class that line is also for also ang line is makikita sa atin as human kapag tayo or 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 ang line is uh, based on our emotional states which uh, find expression in definite positions just like for example when we feel that we are tired when we feel that we are uh, sleepy then definitely hihiga ka de 
uh, hihiga ka or from there kapag si ba, di ba meron tayong different positions kapag hihiga tayo uh, 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 it depends kung saan ka komportable so from there nakakapag-create tayo ng lines so kung saan kung minsan straight line tayo natutulog kung saan nagbebent tayo or nakabaluktot lang tayo so it depends kung saan ka komportable so that sinasabi na yung line is uh, also found in our emotional state as a human kung saan nakakapag-create tayo ng position another one is when we are in a playful mood if you are a basketball player then definitely may mga may mga uh, positions na ginagawa tayo din or may mga positions na mostly ginagawa natin just like for example so may mga kapag nagdadang tayo nakakapag-create tayo ng mga curve your curve lines nagbebent tayo nagka-curve lines din tayo so mga positions may mga uh, vertical din may mga horizontal and even diagonal may mga ganun di ba so when we are in a playful mood so magkakaroon or nakakapag-create tayo ng mga positions or mga lines So, we have here also the two classifications of line. So, we have the straight line and the curved line. So, under the straight line, we have the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. So, in a straight line, a straight line is the basic framework of many forms, but it lacks softness and flexibility. That's true. So, it lacks softness and flexibility. Hindi siya... Hindi siya nabibre, hindi siya nabibend, hindi siya nakikurve. Ayan, so straight line lang siya. Just like for example, sinabi natin kanina, uh, uh, under in straight line, we have the horizontal lines. Ayan, pahiga siya, which on horizontal lines are lines repose and serenity. Horizontal lines are found in reclining persons, in landscape, calm bodies of water and in the distant meeting of the earth and sky which is called horizon so as you can see here there is a picture here so that is the horizontal lines and sinasabi dito also that uh, it also the calm bodies of water and in distant meeting of the earth and the sky which is called the horizon so another example here this one Uh, as we have also mentioned while ago, that is also the reclining body of person. Ayan, yung sa may sculpture. Another one is in this architecture. Ayan, gina mostly may mga nakikita tayong mga horizontal line position, yung kanilang mga architecture. Not just in not just uh, in a specific architecture, but also in general. So, there are lines na makikita natin sa ar horizontal lines makikita natin sa mga architecture. And this one, Okay, we have also here the vertical lines. Vertical lines are lines that denote action. So they suggest poise, uh, balance, force, aspiration, exaltation, and dynamism. Vertical lines also tend to express as well as arouse emotion of exaltation and inquietude. So the Gothic cathedrals express the aforementioned sentiments that possess the soul of Northern Europe Middle Ages. For example, ng vertical lines class are yung cathedrals. Kung makikita nyo dito class, mostly vertical lines or vertical lines yung nakikita natin sa mga cathedrals. Right? So, ito yung example niya. Ayan. And other examples. Ayan. So, that is the vertical line. We have also the diagonal lines. The diagonal lines suggest action, life, and movement. So almost every object in action assumes a diagonal line. As masters in any art try to perfect their technique, they are able to work more or less instinctively and they begin to express themselves more and more through the freedom, buoyancy, grace of curved lines. So itong diagonal lines class, for example, when we are... Uh, Itong best example na best example ng diagonal lines is kapag tayo ay gumagalaw. Just like for example when we are a, if you are a runner or if you are at least of a runner or running events or sprinter then a sprinter I should say um di ba kasi uh, sa first position pa lang o sa ready position dapat naka diagonal line ka so that and another not just that uh, particular specific um uh, specific sport But also, it suggests actions in life and the movement. Sabi niya dito. 
we have also the curve lines. So suggest grace, subtleness, direction, instability, movement, flexibility, joyousness, and grace. The restrained curve lines exemplified in the woman's body and the bamboo stem were according to the Philippine legend, man and woman sprang by Carlos Botong Francisco. So here are the examples of curve lines. So as we have mentioned a while ago, yung example niya is makikita din sa uh, Philippine legend, dun sa painting ni Philippine legend Carlos Botong Francisco, which is this one. Ayan, kung makikita nyo dun sa uh, postures, posture or position ng mga tao dito, or sa painting dito, may mga curve lines or may mga curve lines ano na for form. Ayan, just like for example, their hands, uh, even their uh, posture of their uh, feet, their legs. Uh, another one example here is uh, this one. This, this is the curve line. We have also the crock or juggled lines. Express energy, violence, conflict, and struggle. So, we have three, the classification of crock or jagged lines. So, lines which follow or repeat one another. Number two, lines which contrast with one another. Number three, transitional lines which modify or soften the effect of others. So, these are examples of crock or jagged lines. We have also, okay, so in line, there are there is a repetition. It occurs when two or more lines are drawn with a corner. So, dito na pinagkocombine combine lahat. So, repetition, ayun, meron tayong, diag meron tayong horizontal, meron tayong diagonal, meron tayong vertical, uh, meron tayong uh, horizontal. So, curve lines, there are also curve lines. So, in lines also, we have also transitional lines. So, modify the sharpness of vertical and horizontal lines giving the harmonizing effect. Ayan, so, sharpness of vertical and horizontal. So, we have also line. Uh, in painting, there should be an organic unity of lines to produce balance and symmetry. Uh, proportion of lengths and widths and rhythm. So, ka kailangan natin or we have also, to con we need also to consider the line in painting uh, para magkaroon or to produce balance and symmetry, proportion of lengths and widths, and yung rhythm also ng uh, painting natin. So, we have here the examples of uh, line in paintings. Yeah, this one. Uh, lines in architecture. Yan. Lines in a sculpture. Okay, so let's proceed into color. Color has the most aesthetic appeal of all the elements of visual arts. The light in color is a universal human characteristic. So, as a Filipino, di ba meron tayong kayumangi or ang kulay natin is ang kulay natin ay kayumangi. Meron ding color black, mer meron ding color white. So, there is also reddish na skin color. So, that's color. It's a property of light. So, in a property of light, um, maari yung color mo is um, light lang or light or medyo, medyo uh, sakto lang yung puti mo. Another one is uh, dark yung puti mo. Ay, dark, I should say. Light lang, yung, uh, light lang yung color mo, I should say. It, and medyo dark yung, and dark yung color mo. So that is a color. The light of the sun contains all the colors of the spectrum, uh, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So we have here the examples of colors in paintings. Yan. Example of color in sculpture, uh, in architecture. Yan. So those are the examples of uh, colors in different artworks. We have also here the three dimensions of color, which are U, uh, intensity, and the value. So for U, okay, <laughs> in U, uh, it is the dimension of color that gives its name. So dito natin uh, binibigyan or linilabelan yung isang color or binibigyan natin siya ng pangalan. Just like for example, ang color, the color name such as uh, red, Blue, green, violet, and yellow. 
So that uh, that colors or those colors indicates you. So we have here also the primary hues. So blue, red, and yellow. So uh, the Philippine flag, uh, the Philippine uh, flag has a primary hues. So meron tayo ang color ng Philippine, yung color ng ating bandila is blue. Meron siyang red and yellow. We have also here the secondary hues which are orange, green and violet. So in hue, uh, we have here the primary, of course. When you combine the primary and the secondary, that will become the tertiary. So just like for example, when you combine the uh, red and in primary to secondary the violet then that will become uh, red violet and that will now called as tertiary color so basta i-combine mo yung uh, primary into secondary then that will be called or magiging tertiary color na siya or matatawag na siyang tertiary color so those are examples of primary hues Ayun yung costume ni um, Superman. Meron siyang color red, yellow, and blue. Secondary hues. And the tertiary hues which combine the primary and secondary. We have also here warm hues. In warm hues, we have red, orange, and yellow. So they are associated with objects like yung sun, yung uh, apoy. And other sources of heat, those are the warm, the warm hues. Warm hues also they tend to impart warmth to any compositions in which they are used. So they are conspicuous. So here are examples of warm hues in arts. And we have also the cold hues. Cold hues are those where blue predominates, like green, blue green. Blue and blue violet. So they cause surfaces covered with them to appear to recede. They suggest distance. They are calm, sober, restful, and incos uh, inconspicuous or inconspicuous. Call use in arts examples. Ito. Yan, my examples ng call use. We have also red. So red color of fire and blood. Warmest, most vigorous, and most exciting of the colors. It stands for passion and energy. Yellow color of yellow is a color of light, most brilliant, cheerful, and exultant of the colors. It suggests cheerfulness, magnificence, life, and splendor. It serves to balance the warm colors like red and orange. Ayan. So green. Color for vegetation and symbolizes life and freshness. Violet, it represents shadows and mysteries. Uh, black, represents despair, death, and pain. Orange, uh, suggests deliciousness and warm. Blue, color of the sky and the deep and still water. Colors and the most tranquil of the colors, it arouses the feelings of peace and quietness. Okay, so let's proceed now to value. Value, sometimes called chiaroscuro, refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. So it is a quality which depends on the amount of light and dark in color. So they give ex they give the expression of depth and solid solidity and length form to paintings. So may mga artworks na naginagamit or itong value na to mostly uh uh, na-apply itong value na to There are digital paintings or digital drawings na kung saan kapag nagko-color sila, uh, pinipili na lang or uh, tinatap na lang nila or mas madali na lang nilang uh, makoloran or yung kanilang artworks by the use of computer. So, tinitingnan nila, it depends yung sa light, yung light ng color and dark of color, andun na lahat. So, that is the importance of yung uh, maganda din sa computer because uh, nas, na, na, mas napapadali yung uh, gawain natin kapag tayo ay gumagawa ng, or nagpipaint or nagdo-drawing sa computer. So value, uh, value, we have the tints and shades. Tints are values above the normal and shades are values below the normal. 
Uh, pink is a tint of red. Maroon is a shade of red. Sky blue is a tint. Navy blue is a shade. We are uh, here are the examples of tints. Uh, shades. Ayan. So another is a uh, value of a hue can be changed. We raise you by adding more lights so that it reflects more light and lower it by reducing the light it can reflect. So the last one we have here, the intensity. So intensity refers to the brightness or darkness. So it gives color uh, strength. Uh, differences in intensity may be described as a uh, full intensity, two-thirds intensity, and two-thirds neutral. So, another one is the two colors may be both blue but one is more intense than the other. So, when it is dulled, it is said to be partly neutralized. So, the more black or white is added, the weaker the intensity becomes. So, yan. So, that's the end of our presentations. And I hope that um, may natutunan kayo. And uh, we will continue our discussions in GC. And kung may maidadagdag pa kayo, is mas better pa. So, uh, good day and God bless everyone. Thank you so much.